Well, I'm sure you put your ugly Christmas sweaters away months ago, right? Well, we've got a great occasion to dust it off. Yes. <laughs> to dust it off. In <laughs> Christmas in July at the ballpark. It's the latest promotion from our friends at the Omaha Storm Chasers. It is. Back on the blend is President and GM Marty Cordero. Good to see you, Marty. Good morning. Welcome. Glad Good morning. to be here. This is Christmas in July, right? It's it, at the end it of the month. It's coming up. It is. What a great night to start our next eight-game homestand. Well, tell us about it. What do you have going and on? The little elves are wearing something. Well, this, this the week, elves yeah. on the field will be wearing these stylish. Uh, how do you, we, and we showed this on the show a week or two ago, how do you, uh, who comes up with the design? Well, Casey Long, uh, mm -hmm. Cody Allen, our promotional team, There's Christmas you know, trees we come on up there. with different ideas and we work with the it. partners as well, you know, numbers will be on the back uh -huh. like and you'll be lines. able to, to, to uh, bid on these for mm -hmm. the auction that's going to benefit moving veterans forward. Yeah. It's a group that Mannheim Steamroller and Chip Davis and this one is signed by Chip and you'll be able to uh, get this tomorrow night, uh -huh. and it's a group that helps veterans with housing in the Papillion, Sarpy County area. Yes. So it's for a great cause, a but of course, Christmas music. Uh, there'll be a number of prizes and things throughout the night, uh, and then Santa. Uh, I don't know if Santa, you'll have to come out. I don't you got to find out, out right? See. Christmas to see, but, but there is post game fireworks with this. Warner Enterprises has added fireworks, so it's going to be a great, great night. First pitch is supposed to be about 81, 82 degrees. How so. is Mannheim oh, Steamroller great. involved with this? Well, they're involved in a lot of things we do. Chip's been a big supporter of Warner Park from day one, uh, and he believes from a family entertainment perspective. And then Christmas in July, mm -hmm. Mannheim's Christmas music, it's just a great tie in. But even outside of Christmas promotion, He's involved throughout the entire season. Now let's move on to another promotion. These guys are so popular right now. They sell out all over the place. Hey, do your pretty kids, good. Your kids have these? They do. Well, I should say the youngest has yeah. it and uses it. The middle son won't admit he has it and yeah. uses it. But uh, oh, Spin uh, Pizza is presenting August 3rd. First thousand kids through the gates will get a fidget spinner. Uh -huh. uh, if you it's haven't got the been, logo on there, right? It does. Logo, uh, Storm Chasers on one side, Spin Pizza on the other. And if you haven't visited Spin uh, Pizza, it's great. They've got a new location on Center Street, uh, West Center, and uh, great partners of ours. So this is great right before school comes back. It is. Yes. How many people? Uh, the teachers know, will love it. <laughs> how many are you giving away? How many? First, the first thousand. First, there it is, right on the screen. Yeah, first, first thousand. First thousand. Well, those will go fast. They will. Sure. All right, tell us about the traveling Vietnam Wall, the Military Appreciation Day. That's well, coming up. Well, you know, this is part of a uh, community week for us, and um, we're really excited about bringing this along with Warner Enterprises. It on uh, 10 o'clock next week, the kickoff ceremony will be at Warner Park, and this is a replica of the Vietnam wall that heals mm -hmm. uh, and Warner is bringing it in and then it will be available 24 7 for four days uh, military appreciation day will culminate next uh, Sunday mm -hmm. on the 6th US Bank uh, so if fans want to come out and see the wall uh, at any time uh, you know, we want them to come out. We want them to, to, you know, to see, what, see what it's about. And we're really proud to partner with Summit Dental as well. Summit Dental is helping us for the whole community week. There's things all throughout the community. So if, if anyone wants to meet players, if anyone wants to see what's going, out, going on in the community, visit our omahastormchasers.com for all the community week Now, do you do this each year, the, the Chasers Community Week? We do. This is our third annual that we've kind of compressed it into one week. And it just kind of worked out that the Vietnam Wall that Hills will be here mm -hmm. uh, as part well, that's of That's great. Cool. Well, yeah. you guys are big really cool. supporters of the military, doing a lot of things in the community mm -hmm. for, for military and the veterans. Uh, moving up into August, though, as we get into the, the kind of the end of the season is approaching. What do you have in, in um, August? Because you've got a couple concerts coming concert up. Concert weekend. You yeah. know, we have Steve Mochler Country Concert on the 11th. And then on the 12th, we'll have Colton Dixon. Colton Dixon was American Idol uh, finalist a few years ago. Uh, it's going to be great to have them in, in, at the ballpark doing things a little different this year. Uh, we're doing a different stage. Uh, some of our fan feedback was the concerts had gotten a little impersonal, so we're doing a little smaller setup. It's going to be on the third base concourse side facing uh -huh. back towards the Centrus Family Fun Zone. Okay, sure. So we'll have a stage. So, you'll be in the, so the fans will sit in the stands still, uh, right? What, no, they'll be in the concourse there. Oh, they, so okay, they'll be, yeah. be able to get right up against the stage. You know, you really weren't able to do that uh, on the field when we had it out on the berm. For sure. So we can fit about, you know, three to 4,000 people in that area. So we're really excited to see how that goes this wow. year. But tickets are still available. Uh, we'll have fireworks with the Friday show on the 11th, and then the 12th is Faith and Family Night. We will not have fireworks this year, but really excited about that weekend uh, of, of concerts. Yeah, it's Friday and Saturday, so all it takes is a ticket to get into the game That's and, the, it. and the concert, right? That's it. You get the game, concert, and on, for, uh, on Saturday night, and then on Friday the night before, game, concert, and fireworks. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a great way to, I guess, celebrate school getting back mm -hmm. if, you're, if you are uh, a parent and maybe a last hurrah for kids mm -hmm. if you're sure. not as excited about that. And I will say one thing, tease this a little bit, August 10th, we'll have a special announcement. Okay. 
Okay. August 10th. August Can you 10th. give us any hint? No. Any Absolutely hint at all? Not. Like, no. Does it have to do with no. it's based, baseball? Yeah, it's it Omaha Storm Chasers baseball related. <laughs> yeah, well, what else could it be, Mike? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thanks for the tip. Uh, what, um, listen, can we talk baseball? We can. Uh, how are we doing? How, how's Kansas City doing? Have you, uh, what's the player well, shakeup? Kansas City. Situation going? The Kansas City's hottest team in baseball. You know, uh, right now, them and the Cubs. And it's great to see the trade deadline is right, right up against the trade deadline. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with, with, the, with the Royals the rest of the year. But Chasers have been very competitive. Uh, last uh, homestand, uh, we split, and then we're splitting right now on the road. So with all the moves that Brian Polberg's been through, uh, I'm a little surprised at how competitive they've been. But we want the fans to come out and support them the rest of the year. Yep. i got to say, I have not been able to come out to a game this year. As I was saying, I, I've been gone gone every weekend basically so i gotta head out to one of these last ones you gotta get out sure. yeah well, you're in the neighborhood Carol. yes well and i like you know what i like about you guys is that you have so many other fun things like I, I love going to a baseball game but you have so much fun stuff going on as well i mean i've never heard of a local ballpark that does this many <laughs> things and it's it's so cool well, you're i kind. really like it's, that it's about fun you know, it at is. the end of the it's day, the Royals family. are providing the baseballs yeah. we just talked about. Mm -hmm. and on our end, we bring the fun and we do the community things because that's what we feel is most important. And, you know, there's only 20 dates left, 21 games in 20 mm -hmm. dates. So mm -hmm. we urge people, if they haven't been out this year, the weather's going to be much better than it was last homestand. Yeah. So we hope that uh, fans will come out and enjoy it this weekend. And do not forget about Christmas there. in July because you got the shirts right there, mm -hmm. the jerseys. Mm -hmm. Christmas in July is coming up. Yes. Thanks for coming well, in, Marty. Thank you so thank you. much. Yeah. Thanks, guys. From so as a